monocollateral ligament is one of the major stabilizers to the elbow. It sits on the inner aspect of the elbow and it usually is damaged with a what we call a valgus stress or more of a pitching motion. Um, when that takes place, um, you know, patients will often complain of an audible pop in that ligament um, and it usually kind of clues us in with pain and sometimes some swelling again along the inner aspect of the elbow. When we examine a patient like that, we often will find some instability about the elbow. Um, MRI is typically used in conjunction to help make the diagnosis, and that'll help us grade the type of instability, which then will again lead us to how we would, might treat that type of injury. Usually you need a, a large force or a stress across the elbow, and it's what we refer to as a valgus stress, where the elbow gets kind of pulled out in this plane. Very often you'll see again with pitchers, um, it's also commonly seen with javelin throwers where again they're using that same type of overhead motion and putting the load on the inner aspect of the joint and that's typically where you'll see this type of injury. With a tear in the ulnar collateral ligament, one of the first things you want to establish is the level of activity. Are they an elite athlete or someone who maybe be a weekend warrior or a casual recreational type athlete? We'll certainly kind of gear in how we might treat it. but. We always would treat things conservatively first, and again, depending on the severity of the tear. But traditionally, we'll start off with some anti-inflammatories, maybe some physical therapy, ice, and a period of rest and see how things settle down. If there's still persistent pain, persistent instability, a desire to get back to athletics, then we would probably consider surgical intervention. As far as the injury taking place, it certainly could be more repetitive and there could be some minor insults to the ligament that over time and then it goes or if it's just loaded properly with enough stress, it can tear uh, on, on one occurrence. Mm -hmm. Proper diagnosis is, is kind of is crucial. Uh, make sure that it truly is the tear to the ligament before ever entertaining you know, surgical intervention. So a good clinical exam, MRI, um, I think a trial of rest and some physical therapy is quite appropriate. Um, discussing with the patient real, realistic expectations following the surgery and their desire to get back to sport um, before you know em embarking on the surgery because it is a very long track a year you know, to get back that's yeah, a long time to ask someone to kind of shut things down in order to basically reconstruct the ulnar collateral ligament is something that's commonly referred to as the Tommy John surgery named after a very famous pitcher who developed this injury um, what we typically do is basically either use donor piece of tissue or take a tendon from your forearm and basically weave it through the humerus and the ulna to help reconstruct and stabilize the uh, inner aspect of the elbow. Can't stress enough, it's proper mechanics and probably the best.